Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can use two quick automation tools to help you create a spreadsheet like the one on the screen. So when I type my name, so I'll type my name in column B and press enter, two things happen. I automatically get a serial number and I automatically get borders. So if I type somebody else's name, Dave, and then John, you can see as I add people the number appears and the row gets a border so there's two things going off there i'm using the sequence function to give myself the number and i'm using conditional formatting to automatically border the rows if they have any data so that's what i want to show you how to do i've highlight this and just copy that use my little mouse and my control key bring that over here copy that and i will do the same in this example so highlighting the data that you want this to apply to so i'll just do down 10 rows so the first one i'll do is the row to automatically add a row border conditional formatting manage rules is where i need to go new rule and i'm going to use the formula option down the bottom here there where you'll just get one row clicking in there to make it active clicking on the top cell now you get dollar signs around that, but I only want a dollar sign on the first part. So I'm going to press the F4 key twice. So I don't want it on the actual two. So that then will apply to the whole row. Now I need to go and select the format that I want. If that's true, border and outline, that's what I want to happen. You can change the color if you wish. I'll click OK to that. OK to that and OK again and just see if that works. So if I click there and type something, one, two, three, you can see the border appearing across like I want it to. So I'm just going to do undo, control Z, just to get rid of those numbers. So what I want to do now is to automatically create a numbered list here, depending on any items that appear in this list. So starting in F2, I'm typing equals sequence, comes up. It's asking me for the rows, but I'm going to use the count A function to grab these 10 rows. So let's do that one. Count A, open the bracket on the count A function. So I want to come from row 10 backwards, like so. So I'm closing the count A function, closing the sequence function. I click tick on that one, and I get a an error message there but if i type my name it will number it now if i don't want that error message i need to put the if error function in front of the sequence function on the formula bar so if error press tab to get the bracket go to the end of all of that because basically if all of that returns an error comma i don't want it to say calc i want it to do nothing quote quote show nothing so that'll get rid of the calc, click the tick on there. So that's blank. So when I start adding my data, my list, I get the border, I get the number. If I type Dave and then Anne, as I type people and then John, you can see the border is automatically coming in. So that's conditional formatting. And the number, item number is also dropping in there, which is a sequence function. And the count a function and to hide the error it's the if error function as well so there's three functions going on there to make this work and automate the whole process so that's all i want to talk about on this little video so hopefully you found that useful and i'll catch you in the next one